Welcome to this video, a 15 minute game and um, I'm playing against Just Insane, yeah, so if I'm going to say uh, this is Just Insane, I'm not uh, in any way um, trying to uh, say anything bad about my opponent's play, it's just the name. So let's see what uh, Just Insane is doing. I haven't decided yet what to do if you play c4. Hmm. Hey, t he's taking time this early. Hmm, okay. Oh, really? We are on move one, buddy. <laughs> Andrew from Michigan. Okay. Bishop to f4 after some very long think. Hmm. Yeah, what to do against that? Yeah, there's no uh, specific drawback to playing bishop f4 here on move 2. Just thinking if um, I maybe can try something to put him uh, out of the comfort zone quickly. Maybe c5 or something. Bishop f4 is not particularly dangerous, but it has some, uh, some points, of course. Okay, interesting. Just advances. Hmm. Wow, okay. What is um what is White's response to e6? Hmm, yeah, maybe just knight c3, yeah. Possible. Hmm. Okay. I'll just play a normal Benoni. E6, knight c3 looked a bit uncomfortable to me. I don't really see uh, what, what to do after e6, knight c3. <laughs> okay, and I don't want to spend uh, so much time, so just going for a regular Benoni, where he has um, played bishop f4 really early. Um, Okay, it's probably not uh, not too terrible, the bishop on f4. Hmm. Wow, well, this is some nice <clears throat> time that he's taking. Check. Okay, yeah, that's very often a good idea. Flick in this check to put black's pieces into some sort of uh, disarray. Bishop d7, white probably plays a4. And it's not clear what uh, exactly I have, uh, if I have benefited from that. Okay, knight d7 is also possible. And let's, let's do that. After a4, I have seen, um, I've seen an idea of years ago with the with a, it's a similar position with a knight on f3 instead bishop f4 played after a4 black could take castles then knight e8 c7 and play a6 which was quite okay for black maybe i can uh, get this in okay black uh, white can of course also just retreat the bishop instead of a4 Capturing is not really making so much sense, so he's going for a4. Now, yeah, the idea as um, described is to get in a6. I wonder if I should actually do it now and uh, only. Oh, okay, it's not. There is no. There's not. Uh, there's not much point to it doing it now. I can. I can play the other moves first. 
like 98 c7 and then a6 no um, no big deal Yeah, okay, was the idea anyway, and I like to be ahead on the clock just, just once, <laughs> it uh, basically never happens, so, um, okay, um, yeah, bishop to h6, mm. yeah, it's not, not really great, I mean, great for me, it's not um, a very welcome sight. I wonder, hmm, what about knight e5 here? Can I maybe play knight e5 now that the knight has no good retreat square? So knight takes e5, d takes e5. Yeah, okay, he does not need to play bishop h6, of course. That's wishful, think wishful thinking, really. It would be quite okay to have knight e5, knight takes e5, d e5, bishop h6, knight d6. Would be uh, quite nice, actually. Okay, I'm I'm going to go for the b5 pawn. Queen b6, knight c7. Queen b6 is often a bit of a silly move because it runs into knight d2 to c4. But now the queen is on d2, that's not possible. Ah, an interesting move. Hmm. Yeah, well, f6 is uh, totally ugly. Hmm. Maybe it is not that terrible. I mean, hmm. what's my, <laughs> what are my alternatives? Um... Ah, I can, I can actually, um, I could consider to let him take it. It's not, it's not uh, completely out of the picture. Knight c7 is what I'm talking about. That's actually a move. At least I, I don't see a big, a big drawback. Bishop e7, rook e8. And the bishop move back, so I take, back I take on b5, which is quite a, quite a decent uh, position but i'm not sure about is knight c7 bishop e7 rook e8 knight a4 queen takes b5 bishop takes d6 that in fact looks a bit strange but could be could be quite okay yeah? why not why not for him hmm. okay so hmm yeah, well, f6 is really ugly. Knight e to f6, well, I don't want to do that. I, I need knight c7, this was my idea. And putting this knight on f6 here is also looking a bit strange. Knight c7, bishop e7, rook e8, knight a4. And, uh, hmm. Queen b5, bishop d6, I don't really have a move after that. My knight is hanging on c7 in this position, unfortunately. Rook takes e4 is a move that I could play in this position. Knight c3, hmm. Bishop c3, hmm. very ugly chess. It's maybe possible, it's not uh, completely idiotic. Hmm, okay, well, let's let's just think briefly about f6. How terrible is it? f6, bishop to, hmm, I don't know, e3 maybe, knight c7. <laughs> it's maybe even b4. 
Okay, knight c7, probably at the end I'm going to play this anyway, right? <laughs> yeah, okay. <clears throat> so, bishop takes e7 is, is essentially the only move that tests this. If not, if he does not take, yeah, then I just play rook e8 and I'm fine. I don't, at least I don't see anything. Well, I always need to check knight a4, I'm trying to trap the queen, but I don't, I don't see how after queen b5 he's going to even attack it once more. c4 I can just take, I don't, I don't really see a point. So bishop e7, I guess. That's really the only, the only way to uh, to test this. No, I didn't do it. Hmm. Ah, okay. Probably trying to prepare bishop uh, knight d2. Okay, I'll protect e7. I better, I better keep this and um, see what happens. Maybe I can um, <clears throat> consider to take on uh, c3, take b5, the the greedy option, just uh, grabbing a pawn. But it uh, it is uh, it is dangerous, of course. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, knight c4, of course. Yeah, I have knight e5. It's not um, the end of uh, the world anyway, but I wonder if um, what the consequences are. Knight e5, white must play queen e2, of course, keeping um, b5 protected. Hmm. So if I consider to take on uh, on c3, yeah, <laughs> not a move I like to play, but uh, maybe I, I need to. Takes uh, he probably will take with the pawn. That makes much most sense to me at least. Take with the pawn. Knight b5. This rook b1. Very ugly. So queen b5. Then probably c4. Yeah, well, my queen uh, does not have any squares, to be honest. Can go to b2, but it looks totally, totally insane. Or just insane, just like the name here. Um, okay. Yeah, well, knight c4 is, of course, a threat, yeah. Cannot, it's tough to, to ignore. What if I play it uh, differently? What if I play it differently? Taking here on c3, well, the king is not such a big issue. Taking on th th c3, b takes c, and then I'm then trying to play for, for c4, somehow returning, returning a pawn. to get c5 and uh, make sure that I actually have some squares. Hmm. I'm also still not quite sold on queen takes b5 not working. c4, queen b2, it looks terribly uh, risky, but I'm intending to go all the way back and c3 this knight e5 and queen c2 to d3. Ah, come on. I need to I need to move at some point. This uh, was like a four minute thing or so. <laughs> okay. 
So I was discarding queen takes c3 altogether. I think uh, probably rightly so. This just gives me a b5. Okay, so queen takes b5 here. c4, queen b2, intending to. Okay, rook b1. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> you would get get to uh, b7. Huh? This is. Uh, okay, I can go to e5. So even that is not great. <laughs> okay. Um, I was also thinking about c4, knight c4. Yeah, knight c4 is unfortunately just good. Yeah, queen b5. Maybe rook b1, knight c5, rook b5, knight takes d3. No, it's also not great. Hmm. Okay. If I play knight e5 and then take on b5 with the queen, maybe. Yeah, this at least gives me a retreat square to d7 and possibly knight g4. Okay, okay. I, I must I must move. I must make a move. No use in spending even more time. I can actually maybe well now now I can even take on b5 with the knight. Rook b1, there's knight c3. Maybe f4. <laughs> okay, but I have this check as well. If I check him, c4 check, and then knight takes c3, isn't this possible? Knight takes now, there is um, queen e3. Yeah, which is not too great. If I go back, this knight takes not not good as well. So Check. I need to do this. Check. And now taking on uh, on e three, I guess. Yeah. Okay. Queen. Uh, basically has to go to e1. I don't really see an alternative. Uh, maybe, maybe, uh, uh, not really. Okay, so um, knight hangs and I need to move it. I have no no tactical tricks, so probably here. Knight c4 is queen d4. So I've won uh, how many pawns? Two pawns. But it's um, still very messy and I'm down to three minutes. Am I? Okay, he's just attacking it. I go to d4. Don't. Uh... Yeah, okay, I don't want to want to retreat it to some strange square. Here at least I'm I'm covering the knight and he has no direct discovery. I don't see it. So don't see one at least. Maybe I can get in knight to f6 intending to take on e4 even. Maybe. Rook a3 is a possible move here. Yeah, if if it's if he gives me some time uh, like this, what's this move doing? Maybe just queen over. Maybe if I go knight f6. There is bishop e3. Maybe he's really just um, threatening bishop e, bishop to a3 in some 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 way. 
Okay, b5, h3. Yeah, maybe. Yeah, but okay, it's not not uh, the end of the world. Uh, maybe you can play h3, knight f6, bishop e3, queen e5, bishop f4 with a perpetual attack on the queen. This this is possible, maybe. Okay, um, h3, is there knight e5? Yeah, maybe, maybe knight e5. It's risky, obviously, but it keeps the game going. b5 is um, a useful move as it protects c4 and possibly intends to play b4. Anchoring this knight on c3. Yeah, well, I really expect him to play h3 here. Maybe, um, maybe I'm wrong with that, but okay, white can play... Uh, many moves rook g3 i have this check on f2 which is very necessary <laughs> yeah it's a very um very tough position with my queen stuck on d4. It's um, also a very irritating piece for white, but always a liability. Yeah, it's taking some time. Okay, so h3 probably still the move that was, will will be have will be happening. Knight f6, bishop e3, queen e5, bishop f4, and a draw. Hmm. Not terrible, but a bit lame. H3, knight e5, attacks on f3. So bishop e3 can be answered by knight takes f3 and black wins. Hmm. So knight e5, probably a rook move is uh, in order, rook g3 or something. Yeah, and then um, bishop e3 is the big thread. Yeah, okay, I don't want to draw. I mean, I'm down on the clock and everything, but still a draw, no. Oh, wait, knight, wait, I've got an idea. Rook g3. Can I play knight to e2, which is a bit of a shocking move. Knight e2, that's, that's quite cute. a1 is hanging and the rook is threatened. Hmm. Where's the rook going to go? Knight e2, rook e3 or something. Looks uh, really weird. What rook e3? What am I playing against rook e3? Maybe just going back, right? Bishop e3, that's knight g3. 130, okay, I need to really speed up here. Maybe I can actually play rook a3, maybe c3. Yeah, that could be playable. Counter attacking here. Knight b3, there's queen e4. 
Okay, so um, I can take here or here knight c4, knight c4, rook d3. Okay, I'll, I'll take the central stuff here, the central pawns. This should be okay. And now would like to get d5, of course. Time warning. Okay, let's protect e7 first. One minute, hmm. Trying to get to d5, of course, knight b6 and takes it. This is my idea. Okay, I only hope that I'm not blundering something. At the moment, my queen on e4 is very well placed, defending e7, defending, defending g6. Rook takes as knight c3. This looks okay. I don't. He does not have a check. Or, oh, that was nice. With fifty seconds left, I think. I think the position is reasonably, um, um, yeah, reasonably easy to play. So I'm probably won't screw up it. Won't screw it up. He needs to play queen here, and um, I can just just take it. And let's say king f seven. Keep everything. Protected the queen. If it, if I put the queen, let's say on e6, I'm totally safe here. Yeah? Rook c8, rook c4, rook e4, and um, it's pretty. Yeah, it's pretty. Uh, pretty. Uh, pretty safe. What's nice about the 15-minute games? People are rarely this. Uh, well, you have got more. Um, sometimes the position is a bit more more friendly. Let's say we've got some chats afterwards and some brief um, analysis but, um, yeah he's, he's putting out those moves um, around here the position is very tricky computer seems to be uh, oh rook h3 this is very good for a uh, queen queen to h3 this is what we played okay queen h3 is given as excellent by the computer yeah, that's a strong move. It it controls this important d7 square, and I have a bit of a problem now. Mm, yeah, yeah, yeah. It was a very difficult position. If I take here, there's rook b1, and I'm terribly pinned. C4 is um, a huge threat, and something like that is not helping. So I cannot do that. If I take with this, there is a form. Hmm. Yeah, that's very strong. So this means that bishop takes c3 is probably bogus. I was also briefly considering this move. But the problem is that after something like that, he'll just got get to b7, and I'm not I'm not in good shape. This is why I tried this knife. But queen h3 probably uh, we both missed. I didn't think uh, of it as well. And um, I really I have a problem with. Let's say I can do I can do something like that to get the knight back. But uh, this is just the same as before. And if I go here. It's also very very terrible just uh, just not great I mean maybe this is uh, it's just it's just rubbish I mean it's not so easy to break down but it's still very bad okay so this bishop c3 probably is a bad idea then and maybe my position is tricky already
yeah let's also move it seems that um, I may, maybe maybe I should consider to play a6 at some stage quicker playing h6 hmm. yeah yeah okay this is it is it is difficult to play probably uh, probably white is um, is uh, somewhat better in any case yeah um. Just writing that hit to him that white is better anyway. Um, yeah, it's um, it's tricky. Probably I need to improve somehow. Maybe queen b6 is really not the right right way to go. I don't I don't know. Um, okay, here the computer suggests to take, and then knight back to f6. Hmm. Wow. Maybe. Hmm. Yeah, but still white. White is also better here. And this, this, this is also better for white. This is maybe playable, but well, not great. Yeah, well, the Benoni um, is, is, an, is a demanding opening. Um, it, it's one of those borderline openings where you really know what you're doing and well i'm not um, really a benoni player i'm just experimenting here getting some variety in uh, in the games but i'm not really um any sort of expert of on this yeah yeah after that i'm okay probably check this seems to be tactically fine Queen d4 is maybe hmm, maybe a bit a bit uh, a bit risky b5, but I'm finding the I'm finding the computer moves basically. Here the comp wants to play knight a4. I went with this, which looked attractive, but okay, the computer likes it. That, that's good. Yeah, and here black is, is probably winning. You can, I'm, I'm just I'm just tearing apart the center now. The the real issue really was uh, that white, white could have refuted my play with this, which is just very strong, and um, I have uh, big problems. And this means that the concept is wrong, but I'm not quite sure how to improve it. I mean, starting here, you can uh, think of uh, some things. No, maybe a6 earlier or avoid queen b6 something like that is uh, maybe maybe a uh, better but white is probably preserving uh, some some edge in any case all right thanks for watching